to St. Louis and Bush Stadium. Home of the Cardinals since 2006. We're going to be treated to a gorgeous day for baseball on the show. It's the San Diego Padres taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. First pitch coming at you right after the break. All right, first pitch coming up. And on the mound today, a guy who will give them innings. Sonny Gray. Report on him, Chris. This guy has a ton of respect from his own teammates, Boog. He's the type of guy, if he's not having a good day, he'll go out there and just wear it. No matter what happens, his starts tend to be less demanding on the bullpen. The wind of the pitch. Xander Bogarts in the box now. Take strike Hold one. On and the pitch. Hey. A big swing and a miss. Gosh, a breaking ball. I don't think he recognized it out of the hand. Just a little tardy. I have to regroup here. Stays alive. With two strikes here. You really want to miss outside the zone with that breaking ball. One that ball. misses. Two now strikes. one and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. So with one down, it'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. That's the third. Arenado to first. In time. Two away here in the top of the first. As we take a look at the Padres lineup. Now here's Jake Cronenworth. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Gray, 34-year-old vet. He joined the team as a free agent. Two out spaces empty. Going oh two now. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. One that ball. one way inside. Swing and a miss. Kirchner. Contrary. pitcher you Darvish but on him Chris well the hammer in effect and he sets it up so nicely because of the velocity of Upstairs. The one oh, and downstairs. Swing and a miss, and a count two and one. Strike two. The wind of the pitch. Outside corner got him looking. He can't believe it. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate.
receivers outside. Kicks in. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Well, don't expect too many more high fastballs. This is a good sinker ball pitcher, and sometimes they make mistakes trying to pitch up in the zone. Look for him to stay effective. One out, base is empty. Here's a high chopper. On the run, sends it over to first. Awesome play there. Here's the Cardinals lineup now. They're dealing with a sinker specialist on the mound, which can be a big-time challenge when he's right and working mostly from the knees down. Well, I think the approach you take is really try to lay off of those pitches down in the zone until he gets some called strikes and then forces you to go after that pitch. Until then, make him elevated. Hammers that one. Curling down the line. Way inside, straight up a bit. Wouldn't That's chase that time. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. Down, nobody on. Good plate appearance there. The draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Here's Nolan Arenado. Lifted in the air, right center field. Tatis drifts towards it. Brings it in. And that is the third out of the inning. Scoreless after one. Back here in St. Louis, new inning getting started. Here's Manny Machado. Baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. The pitch. That Whoa, one off the mark. Hit. Ball one. Stud. When you look at players like this, you play that hot corner. Got to be pretty courageous over there with the way balls come off the bat. That's the kind of guy that every year you expect him to be in the All Star game and have a gold glove, if not a platinum glove. And Manny gets a piece. Hey. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And quickly won away in the second. Man, there was no deviating from the fastball right there. He just kept with it if you can, and he just couldn't. So digging in, Ha Sung Kim. A foul. With the go ahead run standing at second, here at the top of the second. Ball is in for a strike and quickly. It is nothing in two. Meanwhile, activity okay. up and loosening in the pen. Kittredge also throwing. And it's second.
lot of pitchers, they really don't like working in that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a job right there. Luis Capitano up to bat next. Lays off for a ball. Man on second, two down. And there's the ball. Way inside, out of the way. Not really attacking on the mound in this at bat. All breaking balls. I think they're wanting to challenge him here. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. And a strike in. He deals. And it's filled up. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended. Tighten him up a little bit. Slightly up, slightly in. Payoff pitch. Swings and misses. Struck him out. As long as he's getting results, and right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. Ready to go for the last half of the game. now up to the plate. Darvish back to work. Ball one. Outside low, and yeah, that's ball one. Down and away. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. And now it almost hit him. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position. The hitters count. The pitch. Pumps in a strike and now. Three and one the count. Ground ball him. In plenty of time to first, and Contreras is retired. The second baseman. No way. Here's Nolan Gorman. Listen, there's absolutely no reason to pitch to this guy right here. You nibble, you see if he'll expand his zone, but don't give him anything to hit. If you walk him, not a big deal. You have a opportunity set up. And fouled off. The winning run on second base. Whoa. That misses the zone, and it's one and one. Moving in the bullpen, Jeremiah Estrada getting loose out there. Cosgrove, a left-hander, also throwing. No score here in the second. And a count one and two. This guy's got good power with one swing. He can win it for him. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. Jordan Walker next up for the Cardinals. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one.
And another ball. Winning run in scoring position with two away. Bottom half of inning number two. Wouldn't chase it time. Tommy Edmund up next. It himself. Three up, three down. And the third. Top third inning. And here it comes. Far gets a piece there. Next offering is in for a strike. He's clearly out there throwing pitchers' pitches in this situation. Base is open. He walks him. No big deal. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. That fastball right there. Speed earlier in the attack just came right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. Next is the designated hitter, Matthew Batten. Right hey. through there for a strike. On one. And a pitch. Oh, that's out. And a count one and two. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the AB going. Ball and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Man at second. Fights that one away, still one and two. Top of the third, no score. Down the line. Can get there, and it's a foul ball. Righty to the plate. Ball two. Two balls, two strikes. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Right the start to this game on the seven punchouts already, so this lineup hasn't had much. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. Jackson Merrill, the next up for the Padres. And that one fell off. Two outs. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Two down, go-ahead run and score in position. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And look out as that one ran in and got him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Well, that could certainly jumpstart an offense. The hit by pitch right there, and now they have the opportunity to make it really hurt on the scoreboard. And here comes Sander Bogarts. He struck out swinging at his first at bat.
comes the runner. Now a long throw home. Just so sad. Against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. First and second, two outs. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. And now it just misses a ball and no strike. First and second. Strike. Pretty rare location right there. Well, this guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. Two on, two outs. Hit hard. Gets through. Around third. Hits really good. There, he got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And hit the ball on the screws. That one's in there. One one. Left-hand hitter waits. And a good eye there. Bounce to the right. To first. That takes care of Cronenberg. They limit the damage here. But two runs for him and they jump ahead. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Padres two and the Cardinals nothing. So coming into the game now on defense, Jose Azo. He'll be patrolling center field. Tommy Edmund at the point. Well, as a hitter, a team that was no hit. I mean, that's embarrassing, man. So this guy right here, he's looking to do anything he can in this leadoff at bat to make it tough. And he deals. Outside low, 1-0. Oh. The pitcher, you know the runner on second, is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Swings through that one for strike one. I got a ball, one strike. Righty delivers. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard. Just glad they got hit with an off-speed pitch there instead of a fastball. Man, that would have hurt a lot more if it had velocity. And now Mason Wynn. There's a strike. Here comes a pitch. That misses, and the count is one and one. The shortstop takes the ball. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. And the right-hander deals. That misses the zone. And that's ball three. As he swings through it. Got him swinging. Wow, just great bite to that slider. Broke hard out of the zone, and he just couldn't hold up the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to 
take, and there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. So the batting order turns over, and the batter now, Brendan Donovan, struck out looking his first time. With the winning run at the plate here in the last half of the third. Next offering is down low. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, he's going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. Yeah, that's outside. Three balls, no strike. Ball for a strike. In the air, left field. And it falls. Headed for the plate. Throw into third. Not in time. He's safe. Such great concentration. You can come through. And there he doesn't try to do too much. Runners at the corners here, one away. Now the number two hitter, Paul Gold. Swung on, belted. No one can get there. And home. Across is the win. And it's 3-2. Well, you come to the ballpark hoping you see something special that day, whether you're a player or a fan, a walk-off win, nobody a moment that'll be logged in the back of the minds of everybody that witnessed this here today. The final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us.